Hey, what's up, people? This is Soku. This is day two, video two, of Soku's birthday countdown. Uh, so, as I told you guys yesterday, uh, and just going to repeat it again just in case people are seeing this video, a lot of people had been asking me about how to get me a present and everything for my birthday. So I set up a button via PayPal. You can, um, as opposed to sending me a particular item or whatever, you can send me um, monetary value, money, amounts of what you wanted to get me, I guess. And then tell me what it was that you wanted me to get. And depending on what it is, I'll probably get it for the most part. But maybe not. I don't know. So, yeah. So, and if you watched yesterday's video, which I'll link to this video somewhere, um, maybe there, right there, over there, yeah, right there, you can link to the video, the yesterday's video, which is video number one, in Soku's birthday countdown. And being that I'm going to be getting, that I'm getting ready for work, we're going to move this right on along. So, we're going to, you guys can, I would like you guys to message me on Twitter, that's at Soku Massimo on Twitter dot com with your best birthday memories and one of the ones I got yesterday well two of them actually that I got yesterday which were really cool was from Miss Bev or I think it's dot on there but Bev you know who you are and she went to a concert which had Ike and Tina uh shit I don't remember the other people I should have looked at it but it was an amazing concert and if you were to go to that we were talking about on Twitter if you were to go to that concert today, it, you'd thought probably not be able to pay rent for a month to go to that concert. And it had like Diana Ross and some other people. I might be lying. I may not be. But I know Ike and Tina were on there. Temptations, maybe. I think we're on there. And two other people. James Brown was on there. And this all the shit. And I was like, oh, shit. And that was her first concert ever. And she got that for her birthday. And it cost $12 to go. And then another one. For her first birthday was Latanya Bemalu on Twitter. She got to go to a Prince concert for her first birthday, and she damn near passed out, acting crazy. Everybody's been talking a lot about Prince with his new tour and everything, and everybody's going, and blah, blah, blah. I've never been a real big Prince fan. I know. I mean, I'm not against him. There are a lot of people who I like their music, but I'm not, like, all like, oh, my God, I gotta have that album. I gotta, like, when their music come on, I jam to it. I get my, I get my... Purple rain, purple rain. <sighs> Little red Corvette. Uh, what's the one about the hat? Um, she wore raspberry beret. That was on my iPod. That um, party like it's 1999. Let's get crazy. Like all that shit. I loved all that shit. But I'm not like a oh go hard for Prince fan. Sorry. I mean the purple one's cool and all, but you know it's just not me. Whatever. So, my birthday story for today is, um, I told you guys yesterday about my Friday the 13th birthday party that I had and whatever and blah, blah, blah. Uh, with that, like, I went all out. I got hotels, was setting up clubs, all this shit. I ordered a cake. My first, like, official, like, cake cake that I got a cake. And the way I wanted it, it was Friday the 13th. It was supposed to be, like, a freaky, like all this weird shit and the cake was supposed to and I designed it myself I wanted a and I did a rough drawing of it I wanted a full sheet cake and I wanted a gold frame around it and in the middle I wanted a torso of um like stretched onto the gold frame with like nails and stuff and blood and all that cool stuff and I had all these tattoos that were going to be on it. And I didn't pick a girl's body specifically for the fact that I didn't want it to look pornographic. I wanted it to look gruesome, bloody. It was supposed to look freaky. The inside of the cake was amazing. One of the best cakes I've ever had in my life. Like, literally. And what the cake was, it was custom made just for me, was a red velvet and devil's food cake. Marbled. With German chocolate frosting. And then the um the fondant and shit. Amazing. Oh, uh, fucking amazing. The cake was amazing. Now, I ordered a full sheet. It came with the two hundred dollars. And it was that it was that cheap. Well, that's cheap for you people who know cakes. 
with like designs and fondant and all that shit. That's cheap for a full sheet. Um, it came up that cheap because she gave me the wrong pricing. I went back, told her I wanted a different, a smaller size because less people were coming than I thought were gonna come. So she was like, "Look, I gave you the wrong price, and if I do that, I'm gonna have to charge you the full price, which for a smaller cake would have been more expensive." And she showed me the paperwork, and it was legit. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll stick with the full thing. Um, I'll have extra cake, whatever. <clears throat> no big deal. Mind you, we were supposed to go to Dave & Buster's uh, for my cake. That's where we are going to have my cake, at Dave & Buster's. And then we were going to all these other locations like Jekyll & Hyde, uh, the Coney Allen Freak Show. Uh, and then we were going to go to a club. I can't even remember what club it was. My actual birthday, I go to pick up the cake, which is June 12th. I had given her a hundred dollar deposit. We gave her half the money, um, or I gave her half the money. Um, and I went to go pick up my cake June 12th because my party was June 13th. We were driving out to Jersey City where my hotel was and then to New York. Um, we were going to take the train over to New York with the cake and everything to go to Dave and Buster. So I got to go pick up my cake as I'm going to the place. And I told the lady, I said, I want it to be realistic, but I don't want it pornographic. So it's a torso. We picked the male, I picked the male torso. And I was like, it can have hair and things on it to make it look realistic, but I don't want it to look pornographic. I stressed that to her. She's like, oh, yeah, I get it. Like, I love this idea. She was all for it. And the tattoos and everything were, like, symbolic to me. And there were going to be little tattoos and stuff. And when she, when she, we got it, I was, like, so amped that she got it. And when I went to go pick up the cake, I see her in the window. Her, I think it was her. It was either her or one of her assistants. They were in the window doing a cake and I'm like oh that looks like raunchy and I go to go I'm like why are they doing that cake in the window they should be doing that in the back cuz it looked raunchy and I was like oh that must be like a bridal shower cake or some shit so with that said I go into the cake shop and she's like oh hey how you doing we're just putting the finishing touches on your cake what do you think and I'm like oh where is it what do you think? And I look at that cake that she was doing in the window, and I see the tattoos. And they're the tattoos I designed. And I looked at her. I looked at the cake. And I wanted to fucking pass out. I walked out. I couldn't even fucking deal. I walked out of the bakery. And I went with my friend um, to go pick it up. And I walked out, and I walked down the street, and, like, I couldn't deal. Because I felt like if I said anything to her, I was going to fucking flip out in the gross in the bakery. And she's like, isn't it awesome? It's amazing. And she's all, like, chipper, and I just, like, went blank. I couldn't deal. Mind you, it was the day before my party. So I walk out. I walk down the street. My friend comes after me. And he's like, what's wrong with... I was like, do you see that fucking cake? It looks like a fucking porn. Like, it looks like porn. It's fucking 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 porn. I was like, my grandmother is supposed to be at this party. My mother, family, friends are going to be at this fucking party. And they're going to have to see this fucking cake? Are you kidding me? It's fucking porn. I was so embarrassed. So embarrassed. So he finally calmed me down. We walked back into the store. Mind you, I had other shit to do. I had to go get a shape up. I had to, just so much shit to do. And I had to get my rent-a-car, everything. So we go back in there, and I just look, and she's like, don't you love it? And I'm like, no, I don't. That's not what I wanted. Like, that looks like fucking porn. It's fucking porn, fucking porn, fucking porn. It looks like somebody's fucking bridal shower cake. And she was immensely offended. Like, she's like, this is the best cake I've ever fucking did. And, like, I love it, and I'm going to post it all over my website. And I was like, please don't. Do not do that. Like, I was so upset about this fucking cake. And if I can find a picture of it, I'll maybe share it with you guys. I'm still embarrassed about this cake. So, she's like, what's wrong? I was like, it looks like porn. He had a fucking, mind you, obviously his penis wasn't there. But he had a full fucking bush of pubic hair. Are you serious? Mind you, there was no head. There was supposed to be, like, a bloody, like, head cut off. The tor It's just supposed to be, like, this portion of the body on the thing, like, spread across. I'm like, it looks like fucking porn. Like, seriously. 
and she's like, no, this is the best thing ever. Me and my, we worked so hard on this, and they're all so proud. They're sending pictures to their friends. I don't give a shit. It's not for them. It's for me. It's for my birthday. And she's like, well, what do you want me to do to change it? Like, because it's too last minute to change anything. And I was like, look, this pubic hair needs to go. She's like, we can't take it off. Like, one, it's not dry. If we take it off, it'll completely mess it up. She, because she had literally just put it on there. Um, I was like, there's no blood on it. It doesn't look gruesome at all. It looks like a fucking, and then my friend goes, a coming out cake. I was done. I was so done. I just had, like, it took a while for me to calm down. I told her, like, we went over it detail by detail and had her, like, add blood and do shit like that, like, cuts and shit. But it didn't, it really didn't change it at all. It really didn't. The cake was just, it was just too far gone. It really was. I had to carry this cake on a train from New Jersey to New York, from New Jersey City. Like, it was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. I had it wrapped so so no one could see it. And the cake was huge. 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 So it was just so embarrassing. And that's that. Um, <laughs> my grandmother didn't show up, but my mom saw the cake and my uncles and my friends and it was just fucking funny as hell they all laughed and i got over it but i was so embarrassed about that fucking cake like seriously seriously <sighs> so that's my birthday thing for today um it, like i said if you guys want to give me a gift or anything i'll be posting that down below there'll be another video tomorrow um with tomorrow's birthday story so on and so forth and I think I know which one that's going to be. I think that's going to be about a cake, too, but not the same thing. This is a better story. A lot of my birthday party things involve cake. Anyway, so that is that. I love you guys. Um, Ten more days. Yeah. Fucking point, fucking point, fucking point. So I set up a um a donate button via PayPal. I'm always messing my nails, aren't I? Anyway, I'm getting ready for work and I pause to do this video. So anyway. <clears throat>